This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, DRP. Damn, I look good. Welcome back to Fight Night for part three of our tribute to the 2020-21 United States Men's Boxing Olympic Team. Up next is the team's lightweight, Keyshawn Davis. Davis had won the Olympic trials to qualify for Tokyo, but the Olympics were postponed due to COVID-19. With no way of knowing if they were ever going to be played, Davis decided to turn pro in early 2021. Davis' first pro fight would be on February 27, 2021 on the undercard of Canelo Alvarez against Avani Yadrim at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. I just butchered that name, didn't I? Well, whatever. Davis would fight the 4-2-3 and three Lester Brown in a four-round lightweight battle. Can Davis use his amateur experience to overcome Brown, or will the nine-fight veteran spoil Davis' debut? Let's find out. Oh, he's going to debut in a six-round fight? Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black with silver. He weighs officially 134 and one half pounds. He enters the ring tonight for the 10th time as a professional, holding a record of four victories. Two defeats, three bouts even, and one win coming by way of knockout, hailing from the representing Nassau Bahama period, Lester Brown Jr. And across the ring stands his opponent fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing blue trunks, trimmed in white. He weighed in 136 and one half pounds. After a story, accolade amateur career tonight, he steps into the ring for the first time as a professional. Hailing from Norfolk, Virginia, here he is Keyshawn Davis! There is confidence. Right, ding ding, round one. Perfect youngster as he begins his professional career. I like that. And he's been burning with confidence all week long. And even you, you can see him as he comes out. Even this, his body posture, his stance, someone who's absolutely teeming with confidence. Well, things are a little slow to start, but you feel that way as an amateur, but it's that next step. Right? That could be just Especially nerves. You talk about butterflies. There is those nervous jittery yep. energy. Sometimes it's a hindrance. We'll oh, figure it out. To get going. What do you expect to see from Davis early? Try to impose himself on Lester Brown. You know, I've watched a lot of Davis's amateur fights, and honestly, he, he has much more of a pro style anyway. You know, he sparred with high level professionals like Terrence Crawford, Shakur Stevenson, Shakur uh, Stevenson, Diego Lopez. And, you know, he had said all those guys had told him, man, you're ready to go pro. you got more of a pro style. And I think we actually see that already. Very, very measured at this point. He's got – I love seeing high-level amateurs when they turn pro because their eyes, they're so open. They're seeing everything. They're analyzing. You know, as many fights as he's been a part of as an amateur, this is still new territory. And the excitement of being able to say I'm now a professional, this is my vocation. And the excitement. Now, for Lester Brown, he knows he's up against a very talented youngster, a guy with quick hands and a, and a good – Boxing IQ, but you know Lester has pro proven himself in the past that he can exchange punches pretty well. Yeah, he's going to need to. He's going to need to be rough. He's going to need to throw punches in the middle of Keyshawn and try and catch yep. him in the middle of combinations or over or around his jab. Um, I think for him to be very dangerous to just shell up and let Keyshawn get comfortable. Lester Brown from Nassau, Bahamas. This is more of a home fight, even though oh, this is incredible. The US than so, it would be for so this is Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. There is literally almost nobody there. Now, remember, this is the undercard, so people probably haven't gotten there yet. But also, this was February 2021. The vaccine wasn't out yet. So, there's a lot of empty seats in the crowd. So, level changes, good shoulder, upper body rhythm. They're using that jab. Also, he's peeling. He's peeling with one hand to throw the other. Very, very professional work so far from Davis. Yeah, one of the things he said the other day, and had the chance to speak with him, he says, I feel like for my first pro fight, I'm going to get the chance to fight it at my pace. Not an amateur pace, but actually bring what I'm certainly capable of doing to the fight. Yeah, like I said, I mean, he, I've always seen him as having much more of a professional style that's going to translate well once he gets the pro ranks. And I think we're seeing that already. Very aggressive start. Losing the left hand to try to pierce between the defense of Brown, finding their mark, and then trying to level with the right hand. Really taking his time here in Davis, picking his spots, very methodically breaking down his opponent. Stupid. 
stupid advertisements. And discover new music. Shut up. Ding ding in the round one. And round two. And now focusing on the body shots. Good luck getting there from Brown. I actually caught him in the middle, which is exactly what I said he needed to do in order to be, have any success in this fight. Brown, no stranger to fighting in Miami. His last fight was in 2019 in the Miami area as he fell to Cuban Manuel Correa. He blamed himself in that match for being too dehydrated and didn't prepare enough. Says he comes in far more prepared for this fight against Davis. So Brown says he lost his last fight because he was dehydrated and didn't take care of himself. So he says he's feeling better this time around. So if Davis is able to beat him, they, that's a feather in his cap. Right, so Davis is definitely cutting the ring off. He's got him in the corner. What's he going to do with him? Keyshawn doing a great job here positioning his opponent, stepping around, walking him into corners. Using body pressure to, to keep his man at bay. There's a little bit more of a changing the level, as you've mentioned a couple times. Getting low, then being able to stand up. Strike an imposing figure and very fluid. Very fluid. Very fluid. And, and for a pro debut, especially. Peppering a couple combinations as Brown continues to back up and be on the receiving end. Oh, big right hand dropped him. And a little shimmy into the corner. Davis feeling at the height of confidence as that right hook just found the back of Brown. Back of his head. Well, he, you can go. That was that peel move that I was talking about. Now uh, Davis is going in for the kill. Relax the love down of Brown and it came with that right hook right to the temple. Putting Brown to the canvas. Oh, a big body shot. Right, he's trying to tie up. Veteran moves. Ooh. Went to the body, went to the head, went to the body, went to the head. Really throwing some hard power shots as Davis. While also maintaining a good range of staying defensively minded. Oh, Davis just pummeling him on the corner. And the ref steps in. That's it. Steps in, stops it. And that's it. Done. Yep, that's it. Quick hands for Keyshawn Davis allows him an early birthday present, giving himself for his 22nd birthday a debut performance worthy of a win in Miami. He's very out. Yep, Davis wins it. KO in the second. He's got a Miami Dolphins jersey on. <laughs> okay, that was an impressive win by Davis, and but the best was yet to come. Not only would the Olympics be played, he was allowed to fight in them, even though he had already turned pro. This gave him an advantage over other countries since he was training professionally for months before the Olympics. How did he do in the finals? Well, that's a story for another time. As of right now, he had won his pro debut in front of almost nobody in Miami. So, I'll see you next time.